Deputy Governor Dr. Bezimri echoes need for collective action towards clean, healthy environment. Anambra Assembly Speaker Okafor distributes empowerment materials and tools to constituents. JAMB increases service charge for milk unified to share matriculation examination. And the United Nations seeks independent investigation into killing of civilians in Ukraine. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukwuma Salida has come for a tutor turn around the maintenance of Anambra State economy and promotion of Ka Ibo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Chidima Orangwa. Anambra State Deputy Governor Dr. Onyeka Chukwibezim has urged the residents of Onisha North and South, Obaru and Idemele North local government areas to disease from indiscriminate dumping of waste and to report any person or persons caught in the unlawful act of the, to the appropriate authorities for prosecution. The Deputy Governor gave the instruction during inspection on the last day of the three days that on each and north and south of Baru and Idemle North local government areas waste evacuation and drainage desultant project. Government House Correspondent Emmanuel Okunko filed on this report, taken from her. In exercise by the Deputy Governor at various dumping points around Onitsha North Local Government Area, including Queen of Rosary College, Oguta Road, Onitsha Axis, and Okosi by New Cemetery Road, residents express gratitude to God for giving an Amber State Professor Chukoma Soludo as the Governor whose vision and mission is to meet the needs of the poor masses. Deputy Governor Ibezim, while emphasizing on the importance of a clean and healthy environment, called on the Anambra to see actualization of a clean and healthy state as a collective responsibility. <laughs> Some youths in the areas visited, including Mr. Chukudi Mbakwe, Ifani Ndukwe, and Chike Obioza, assured to organize themselves to enforce proper waste disposal in the area that appealed to the state government to also employ waste management officers that will be in charge of every dumping site in the area to ensure regular evacuation of waste. But the State Commissioner for Environment nominee who hails from the area, Engineer Felix Odumegu, and a stakeholder in Onitsha North, Mr. Chiejina Obieze. Professor Soludo's intervention in the area has aimed his administration the masses trust, assuring that the people will combine efforts for the state government to ensure a sustained, clean, and healthy environment. After evacuation of waste in each dumping point, the state government replaces the old waste bins with new ones. President of Onitsha North and South, a huge sigh of relief as the government of Professor Chikuma Saludo fulfilled its promise of the salting and evacuating mountain like dumped waste in the areas. This was witnessed when the state deputy governor, Dr. Onyeka Chikibezi, monitored the commencement of the exercise in the areas. Correspondent Emmanuel Okonkwo tells us more. During the inspection exercise by the State Deputy Governor, Dr. Ibezim, various sizes of refuge dump sites were seen in many strategic points and junctions around Onicha, including the popular Ochanja roundabout and Oka Road by Inland Town Access, which not only threatened the health of the residents and road users, but also restricted them from accessing other parts of the town through the routes. Nevertheless, the intervention of the Professor Chukuma Soludo-led administration in the areas is gradually restoring healthy environment and free access to other parts of Onicha for the residents and road users. Some residents that spoke to the ABS during the outing, including Mr. Chidi Alionye and Mr. Obinna Enemua, while expressing happiness on the government intervention, described Professor Chukuma Soludo and his deputy, Dr. Onye Kachukwi Bezim, as God sent to the state and promised to key into the state government's environmental sanitation initiative. 
Addressing the residents, the deputy governor urged them to partner the Saludo administration in the move towards providing safe and healthy environment for the citizenry by keeping their surroundings clean and disease from dumping refuse in wrong places. Also speaking, the member representing Onita North Constituency 2 at the State House of Assembly, Honorable Edward Ibuzo, who is also the Chairman House Committee on Environment, describing discriminate dumping of refuse as a lawful act that causes most of the environmental hazards humanity is facing today, including flooding, infectious diseases associated with unhealthy environment, and ask people in the areas to disease from the ill practice for their own good. The stakeholders, the citizens, all of them now need to come together because what we are doing is for everybody. It's not designated for one person. Cleanliness is for everybody. Whether you are rich or poor or whoever you are, it affects everybody. Therefore, from what I've seen, I love the ginger, I love this swag, so I'm going to kick it off from here. In various interviews, the president of Anambra State Market Amalgamated Traders Association, Asmata Chief Ikechuku Ekwebalo, and the president general of Ochanja Central Market, Mr. Sunday Anako, commended intervention of the state government in areas and assured of stronger partnership with the state minister of environment towards sustaining cleanliness in all the markets across the state. Present during the monitoring exercise by the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Uchen Nokafo, Secretary of the State Government, Professor Soluchu Kulobelu, Special Advisor to the Governor on Security Matters, retired A. Vice Marshal Ben Chubi, among others. State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Uche Ukafo, has distributed empowerment tools worth millions of naira to the people of his constituency to enable them fend for themselves. The program, which coincided with his 45th birthday celebration, took place at Central Primary School if Itel Gwara in Ayamalim local government area. House of Assembly correspondent Chukwe Mekamodalim report. Items distributed by the speaker were 600 bags of fertilizers, 11 Toyota Camry vehicles, 33 sewing machines, 55 motorcycles, grinding machines, chemical spraying machines for insecticides, among others. In his remarks, Wright on the block explained that the event, which was designed to mark his 45th birthday celebration, was in fulfillment of his campaign promises aimed at creating employment and improve on the standard of living of his constituents. The speaker appreciated his constituents for their support to the Afghan government in the state and assured that he will continue to represent them effectively in the state assembly in order to change their lives positively and the overall development of the constituency and the state at large. He also donated 2 million Naira catch reward to the political wards within his constituency that did exceptionally well during the November 6th governorship election in the state, while Uchoka support group donated 2.5 million Naira to the speaker to purchase expression of interest and nomination forms for his re-election bid in appreciation of his wonderful performance in his constituency. Let me start on the already existing uh, protocol. Come on, Jidak. As you can tell, I am going to be able to start up my official day of turning back to Afghan, the home I built along with so many soldiers. Um, I am saying that we are going to bounce back into Afghan with the full force that we are bringing from where we are coming from. On his part, the All Progressives Grand Alliance Chairman in Iron Melum local government area, Mr. Livinus Onyenwe disclosed that the party made the right choice in right honorable Kafo as he has lived up to the expectations. Responding, the beneficiaries of the Speaker's appointment scheme, Chief Ken Onyenbo and Mrs. Bridget Nonyelo, appreciated the Speaker for his gesture, stressing that the appointment tools will boost their businesses. <laughs> Remain ever happy with the speaker for all his uh, kindness and uh, good uh, gestures of the constituents. The 
the occasion climaxed with the cutting of the speaker's 45th birthday cake. Dignitaries who graced the occasion were Governor Chuo Maseludo, the member representing Anambra East and West Federal Constituency, Honorable Chinedo Bibigwe, the State Chairman of APGA, Sir Norbert Obi, members of the Anambra State House of Assembly, Commissioners, nominees, traditional rulers, among others. A former commissioner in the immediate past administration, Honorable Obinwankwo, says he is in the race to represent the people of Walker North and South in the Federal House of Representatives for their good and interest. The former commissioner was speaking when he picked the expression of interest in nomination forms of the All Progressive Grand Alliance Abga from the party's national headquarters in Abuja to contest to represent Walker North and South in the Federal House of Representatives. Honorable Nwankwo said his people had been yearning for effective and quality representation at the Green Chambers and with his experience as a successful businessman in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria and having created jobs for the people, he has what it takes to be a good leader and was seen through his exemplary record of performance and experience as commissioner of three different strategic ministries, science and technology, public utilities and environment ministries in the Willi Obiano led administration from 2014 to 2022. He opined that he is the most qualified aspirant to represent the Oka North and South at the Federal House of Representatives and commended the APGA party leaders in which he had promised aspirants of a free and fair primaries. Honorable Nwankwa thanked especially Abga National Chairman T. Victor Oye, the National Working Committee, the National Executive Council, the State Esco of the party, and others, saying that the 2023 general elections is a watershed election both for Nigeria, Njianambra, and Ndioka North and South. According to him, if right people are, are elected into office to work with Governor Professor Chukuma Soludo, then the journey to reconstructing local government, state, regional, and national economies has started. He noted that this is the time to elect seasoned technocrats into office, men and women with international and national contact that can attract development for their constituencies, not just relying on federal allocation, adding that he is running on the evidence of having the right contact and network to attract development to Oka North and South. The aspirant for Oka North and South Federal Constituency said it will be inimical to rely on federal allocations alone for the development of their constituency and that he is ready and prepared to serve as he will leverage on his contacts and network to fast track the socio-economic development of Oka North and South. Development, a frontline politician and an Abga stalwart, Engineer Dom Okafo has picked the expression of interest in nomination forms to represent Agota Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives under the platform of the All Progressive Grand Alliance Abga. Engineer Okafo, a seasoned professional engineer, an entrepreneur, an employer of labor, who obtained the form flanked by his supporters at the party headquarters in Abuja, said he is elated that they are about to open a new chapter in the history of Agwata Federal Constituency with its representation that will lead to the development of the area. We have details from us today. A Iboku born politician revealed that he is not in the race for personal aggrandizement or self glorification, but to change the fortune of the federal constituency for good, adding that Abga will never regret choosing him to be their candidate as accountability, transparency, and good representation will be his watchword if elected. He also expressed confidence in the leadership of the party, both at the national and state levels, and praised the national chairman of Abga, Dr. Victor Oye, and his national working committee describing the modalities they mapped out for the exercise as top-notch. Regina Dom, who is a knight of the Catholic Church, a Rotarian and a community leader, said he has touched many lives through his philanthropic and humanitarian projects and believes strongly in the spirit and ideals of Abga as a political party. Stew to come on the news, JAM increases service charge for NAC Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination. United Nations seeks independent investigation into killings of civilians in Ukraine. Here's a special message. Governor Chukwuma Salido has come for a total turnaround, maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core evil values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. 
The news returns after this time out. Please join us again. Thank you for the rejections that taught me to keep striving. Thank you for the long hours that taught me discipline. Thank you for the knockdowns that taught me to bounce back. And for the unexpected victories that taught me to never give up. Thank you for making me who I am. You're welcome back to the news. The Joint Admissions and Matriculations Board has announced an increase in the service charge for this year's Merck Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination. Less than a week to the optional examination, the board disclosed that the service charge has been increased by 400 naira. It stated that while the examination will be conducted freely at its centres, Jam said candidates willing to take part will have to pay 1,000 naira to their computer-based test centres as a service charge. It explained that the Merck examination was introduced to give candidates the opportunities to familiarise themselves with the CBT environment. Jan also asked candidates who have registered for the 2022 UTME exercise and had indicated the interest to seat the mock UTME to proceed to print their mock examination notification slip. These, according to Rita, indicates the centre they have been assigned to take the examination. In order to reduce the rate of unemployment and total reliance on government employment, St. Augustine's Parish, Umwabanam, Anambra East Council area has organized a one-day youth skill acquisition program for the parish youths. The event, which was the first of its kind in the parish, will be a continuous exercise designed to educate and train beneficiaries in skills that will enable them to create wealth and refocus them on entrepreneurial development. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibata reports. The training was designed for Holy Child Association of the Church, which are children between the ages of 1 to 8, Catholic Boys and Girls Organization, children between 9 and 17 years, and Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria, which are adults from 18 years and above. The youths were equally trained on mechanical repairs, electrification, art and sculpture, woodwork technology, tie and dye, floor deserts, cake baking, confectionaries, and hair salon activities. Declaring the event open, the parish priest of the church, Reverend Father Clement Ayadinono, urged the participants to see the training as an opportunity to be self-reliant and self-employed, regretting that many youths have indulged in various negative activities as a result of unemployment and idleness. According to Reverend Father Ayadinono, the idea for the training came forth after one of the Sunday's gospel readings that dwelt on talents and accountability. He reminded the youths the importance of skills in their lives and advised them to learn challenging skills so that their community daily indispensable needs will be met. To be reminded of the importance of skills in their lives, we thank God for this forum. The idea came forth after one of the Sunday's gospel readings that dwelt on the talents and accountability. Thereby, we challenged our youth not to be lazy like the one who buried his talents, may be productive and multiply with results. In his speech, the traditional ruler of Umoba Anam, Igwe George Ekwalo, expressed optimism that the program would impact positively in the lives of the youths, even as it thanked the parish priest for organizing such laudable program. I saw it as a, something that is very good for our children to learn and know what they can use to have their own uh, handwork tomorrow. I advise all our children to queue up, to join and learn the handwork. The chairman of the occasion, Mr. Frank Anatogo, and the guest at the event, Barrister Stan Mwaka, pointed out that skill acquisition is an alternative to white collar jobs that are not readily available. Some of the participants, including Master of Oma Ndife and Miss Marianne Ale, thanked the parish priest for the training, assuring to utilize the knowledge garnered from it to become self-reliant. <laughs> 
asim kamu ya kadum kaya kama biji na moto maleno ankete abuna ene zine ma ya bas kanselo ya mo ya ne buno bimu bo kamu ya kamu tia ana alu ya kabla kolo mo ekene na ekene abuna ekene muweri na wa tra elwa jima kodi ibe mo apota kai bunde ne muri ana alu solu ya me ya kai mo tia abuna otal mo tori na. At the end of the program, the participants made presentation of what they produced from the training. From Anam, Emmanuel Shibata, ABS News. And now the Foreign Senior and Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, has called for an independent investigation into the killing of civilians in the Ukrainian town of Bucha, a suburb of the capital, Kiev. Images had emerged of bodies found on streets following weeks of intense fighting, according to international media reports. Ms. Osnat Lubrani, UN humanitarian coordinator for Ukraine, shared the statement on Twitter. The UN continued to press for an end to the war in Ukraine, which the Secretary General had described as unwinnable. The rearranged re Tottenham versus Arsenal North London Derby will take place on Thursday, May 12th. It has been announced. The clash, which was originally scheduled to take place in February, will be played with a bragging right and potentially Champions League football in the line. Tottenham said in a statement that the latest round of Premier League broadcast selections had been completed, including a rescheduled date for the North London Derby at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Orca. Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website www.absradiotv.com. And now the main points again. Anambra State Deputy Governor Dr. Ibe Zim has re-echoed the need for collective action towards clean, healthy environments. Anambra Assembly Speaker Okafo has distributed empowerment materials and tools to constituents. JAM has increased service charge for Merck Unified to share matriculation examination. And on the foreign scene, we also told you that the United Nations are seeking independent investigation into killing of civilians in Ukraine. Before we go, here's the special message again. Governor Chukuma Saluto has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core evil values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. And that's it on the news tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Chidema Orangwa. Good night. <laughs>